Well, welcome here to Nethermore, where the Lions are about to take on Aldershot Town. And those two sides will line up as follows. Stephen Drenching, goal, Danny Lowe, Adam Lockwood, Jake Lawler, Wayne Brooksby, Danny Boschel, Adam Boys, Tom Craddock, Will Hatfield, Nicky Boschel and Rob Atkinson. On the bench, Dan Atkinson, Ryan Tilson, Gavin Rothery, Zach Thompson and Liam Dickinson. For Aldershot, it's Phil Smith, Jack Saville, Luke Oliver, Sam Hatton, the captain, Jim Stevenson, Che Alexander, Omar Beckles, Reese Brown, Jake Gallagher, Richard Brody and Dan Walker. On the bench, bench Matthew Barnes, Homer, Charlie Walker, Tom Richards, Dan Thompson, Thomas and Chris Parker. Referee today is Wayne Barrett, assisted by Ben Cook and George Warren. The fourth official is Richard Watson. Two sides just shaking hands as they come out in front of us. Guys who will be playing in white shirts, navy shorts and socks. Aldershot will be in all defending the railway end of the ground. Referee just going through the final checks uh, before blowing the whistle. And we're off. Danny Boschel making his first start at Nethermore this season. With, uh, Jake Lawler now with Craddock. He plays it out to the left-hand side where Danny Lowe has got a bit of space to work in. He crosses into the area looking for Craddock just beyond him. Wayne Brooksby at the back post. He takes a shot over the bar. Good move there from Geisley. Wayne Brooksby perhaps didn't expect the ball to come to him. Craddock tried the acrobatic overhead kick. Didn't make connection with it. It fell to Wayne Brooksby but he couldn't keep the shot down and it's a goal kick to Aldershot. It goes long, eventually down the left-hand side, looking for Danny Lowe. Lowe gets uh, the touch from Alexander, so he makes the throw quickly to Danny Bosch. Nicky Bosch, oh, the cross comes in. And Tom Craddock was on the end of the cross from Nicky Bosch. It was a decent ball, but he just couldn't keep the head. Gives the ball back to Danny Bosch, who sends a lovely ball down the right-hand side. And Adam Boys is chasing it and has found it into the penalty area. A bit away from goal, takes a shot, and that's just past the upright. Couple in the north, Staley Bridge nil, Solihull 1. FC United 1, Brackley 1. Brackley had taken the lead in that game. And Corby 1, Bradford Park Avenue nil. So uh, let's hope for uh, Danny Hall's uh, enjoying his time there. Guys, he now on the ball here with Wayne Brooksby on the right-hand side. Two time four in the area if he can pick them out. Goes across the face of goal. Nobody able to just quite make the final stretch. Guys, have had the better chances. No question about that. There's been uh, a couple of opportunities for Aldershot. That notable header from Brody. Now Lockwood just blasts the ball into Lawler and loses possession. There's no free kick against a, a foul on Lockwood and guys, you have to watch out and the ball's in here to Brody and Brody puts the ball in the back of the net. Oh, how controversial is that goal? Adam Lockwood clearly pushed. The ball played forward, played into the area. Brody finds an, a little bit of space to work in and puts the ball in the bottom left-hand corner. But a very controversial goal indeed here at Nethermore Park. Very much so. You know, there was a clear push on Lockwood. He then tried to get it clear and it rebounds back towards the Geisley goal off the back of Jake Lawler. And a couple of passes later and it comes first time to Richard Brody. And you can't give a man like that space like that in this league. because Throw in, which will be taken by Hatfield again. Headed away. Only as far as Jake Lawley. He gets the ball taken away from him. He's lining up to shoot by Adam Boys. Now Hatfield gets the ball on the right-hand side. Into the area, Craddock. Oh, he just can't find the target. Sends it back here to Danny Lowe. Lowe, square to Danny Boschel. Nice flick on from Boschel. In towards the penalty area. Boys onside, inside the goal area. And it's a block inside the six-yard box by Beckles to deny Geisley. A chance there for Adam Boys. He drilled it into the six-yard box. And in the end... Beckles gets it clear and it's a Geisley corner on the left hand side. Walker's shot is blocked, Geisley can come away with the ball, Brooksby and uh, Danny Boschel combined but lose possession and Geisley again playing themselves into a bit of trouble here. Stevenson plays it to the left hand side, Reese Brown into the area, Reese Brown with a bit of space, safe by Dredge, the second is put in, hold a shot, get a second, no complaints about that one. Geisley just didn't clear their lines and Aldershot have uh, got two goals in this first half. Jim Stevenson with the second and the Lions have a mountain to climb. From there, nothing. The referee decides that's enough for the half. And uh, they're very pleased with themselves, the old, older shot players. Smiles on the face there of Richard Brody as he uh, heads back in towards the half-time break. But Geisley will rue the chances, the many chances they had that they failed to take, we failed to uh, capitalise before a controversial goal 
uh, allowed Richard Brody through to score after a clear foul on Adam Lockwood. And then Jim Stevenson uh, got a second for the visitors. Geisley, since then, have huffed and puffed and not been able to muster a response. Half time here, Geisley nil, all the shot down two. Throw in now for Aldershot inside the Lions half. Square here to Walker. Chipped forward now towards the edge of the 18 yard box. Atkinson heads clear. Taken down now by Danny Boschel. Flicks it up towards Craddock but doesn't find its intended target. And now Alexander takes over out to uh, Hatton on the right hand side. Alexander picks it up, got back up, gets into the area, runs past everybody onto the edge of the six yard box, puts the ball in the back of the net. Beautiful goal from Aldershot. And a super run there from Alexander. Skipped past all of the Geisley back line. Got onto the edge of the six yard box. Tamely defended from Geisley. And it's now Geisley nil. Aldershot three. It's uh, a good chance to ask any questions about Bauer or uh, assistant Danny Boschel. The questions have all been asked by Aldershot today. And Geisley haven't had an answer. Three nil down. Nice link. I thought so. <laughs> On the right-hand side now, Aldershot attack ball into the area. Brody with a bit of space, finds himself on the edge of the six-yard box. 4-0. Brody seems to injure himself in the process, but Geisley have been undone again. And Richard Brody, he's had time and space in the penalty area once too often this afternoon. And Geisley are well and truly beaten here at home at Nethermore. Geisley nil. Aldershot fall into the penalty box. See if they can muster a consolation. Back here to Rothery. <laughs> Rothery curls into the box, headed away. Referee calls time. The cheers around the ground are all the visiting fans. It's been a muted afternoon for the Lions after a bright start. They had chances to take the lead. And then a controversial goal for Richard Brody. Got Aldershot on their way. Three more followed, including a, a cracker from Shea Alexander. And Geisy have been completely undone. Geisy nil. Another shot, town four.